Dog the Bounty Hunter alum Dwayne Lee Chapman's second oldest son, Leland Chapman, has suffered an injury on the job. On the afternoon of July 9, 2019, the younger bail bondsman unfortunately injured his knee while he and his famous father joined forces to chase down a suspect in Adams County, Colorado. According to a spokesperson for the Chapman family cited by AL.com, Leland is currently being treated at an unnamed hospital in his home state of Alabama, where he will undergo surgery to repair a torn ACL sometime next week and will need at least a six-week recovery period. The alleged criminal in question was a man named Edward Morales, who reportedly pleaded guilty to domestic violence charges last month, but eventually had a warrant issued for his arrest after apparently skipping a court hearing. Despite reportedly putting up a struggle with the Chapmans, he was later taken into custody. The bottom line is we all had fun. Even the fugitive had a great time. Fans are most likely aware that Leland Chapman's injury comes just weeks after the untimely death of his stepmother and Dwayne Chapman's beloved wife, Beth Chapman. Beth passed away at the age of 51 on June 26, 2019, following her long battle with throat cancer. Just days before her passing, Beth had been placed in a medically induced coma at the Queen's Medical Center in Honolulu, Hawaii, but sadly never recovered. On the day of her passing, Duane wrote on Twitter, It's 5.32 in Hawaii. This is the time she would wake up to go hike Coco Head Mountain. Only today she hiked the stairway to heaven. We all love you, Beth. See you on the other side. The reality TV star later announced a memorial service for his late wife on Saturday, July 13th in Aurora, Colorado. Dwayne tweeted in part, Love you all and thank you very much for the support you have been giving for Beth. AOL notes that this week's father-son manhunt for Morales was their first time back at Worth since Beth passed away. For his part, Leland Chapman opened up about his recent injury while speaking with Entertainment Tonight on Wednesday, July 10th explaining that the injury came while he was still recovering from a previous knee injury. I was just getting that healed, just came out of rehab and everything, so I'm trying to take it easy. I'm trying not to get in no fights and not running. Indeed, in lieu of running at the time of chasing down Morales, Leland initially jumped in a car. He explained, My intention was just to cut him off in the park in front of him and just wait because everybody was kind of close behind him. When I pulled in, he made eye contact with me, and I was seeing that this guy is running at slow speed, my speed. You know what I mean? Because he was tired himself. So Leland decided to run after the suspect himself. The bail bondsman continued, explaining that what happened next had resulted in him re-injuring his knee. I got out of the car and I was hobbling along. When I went to kick down a gate, it kind of flexed, then it completely severed off my Achilles tendon. So it broke, snapped right in half, when I put my foot down, I kind of felt like it was asleep. I felt like I was walking on sand. Undeterred, Leland continued to track Morales down, tasering him while he was allegedly attempting to climb up a fence to get away. The harrowing takedown was reportedly caught on tape for the upcoming reality TV show, Dogs Most Wanted. The series is set to air on WGN sometime in 2020. While we're wishing Leland Chapman a speedy recovery, our thoughts also remain with the entire Chapman family during this difficult time of mourning.